An international exhibition arrives in St. Petersburg, Florida at St. Thomas Episcopal Church on Snell Isle. Exclusively displayed in churches and museums rather than art galleries, Icons in Transformation by Abstract Expressionist Ludmila Pavlovska is being shown for the first time on Florida's West Coast. I was immediately excited about the possibility of having this art installation in our parish when I received the email invitation from Ludmila and from Jan. It was an exhibit that I had heard about through the grapevine. It's traveled extensively in Europe and in the United States, and so it was one that I knew about. And as soon as they sent an email to me, I said, I want to see if we can do this here. I think this will really bring a certain vitality and a certain interest and curiosity, not only to the people of our parish, but to the people of St. Petersburg. The exhibit launched its European tour over 20 years ago in Sweden. In 2009, Pavlovska and her husband and co-curator, Jan Leck, were invited to England to show at the Hereford Cathedral with Prince Charles and his wife Camilla hosting the opening ceremony. It later made its way to the United States. To date, over a million people have experienced icons in transformation. People ask me, why churches? Why are you are showing this exhibit here? It's the very right place for my installation. Since churches are holy places, so in a way it enables people to understand contemporary approach of spirituality. Born in exile in the former Soviet Union state of Kazakhstan, Ludmila was originally trained to produce socialist realism, which was the party-enforced painting style of the day. But the artist's passion lay elsewhere. Later, in Moscow, she met her future husband Jan, who would become a master of installation and logistics in her new artistic endeavors. Together, they left Russia for Sweden. After a few years, Pavlovska's mother was finally allowed to visit her there. Tragically, shortly into the trip, her mother died suddenly. Her mother's death had a profound impact on Ludmila and the direction her art would take. She sought healing for her wounded soul through her work. This journey led Pavlovska to study traditional Russian icons that she would incorporate as the basis for her installations. Written words and phrases from her diaries and her mother's correspondence are elements that have infused her artworks with a continuing sacred conversation. The Icons in Transformation exhibit includes a collection of traditional icons made in monastery workshops. These were created over the years as religious freedom began to return to Russia. They are displayed alongside her work so you can appreciate the source of her inspiration. In classical icons, the eyes are exaggerated and more luminous than in life. In Pavlovska's work, the eyes are considered the windows of the soul and often a signature presence in her art. Traditional icon painters also use gold as a light source. In Pavlovska's art, the frequent use of gold leaf produces this luminous glow. Patrons will be immersed in rich colors and deep textures on the individual pieces. A wide range of mixed media are used to create these original artworks. Sometimes cutouts are incorporated into the art in various shapes that invite the viewer to look into the piece. Ludmila believes we all have something inside. Looking within the art can take the viewer through their own personal journey. It's up to you if you can open your heart and just listen to your heart. When it's rise up fully, just, just listen to that. Gold is not regarded as a color, it's regarded as a divine light. Bringing this exhibition to St. Thomas was a monumental undertaking. Mary Jane Park, ICON's committee chair, explains. It took an army of volunteers, it took professional installers, it took mechanical equipment, the likes of I have never worked with. We had scaffolding, pallet jacks, we had mechanical lifts that went into the uppermost chambers of the nave, the main worship space. 
It took choreography like I've never seen uh, in terms of just coordination of the art and uh, the artists. Just a wonderful cooperative effort on everybody's part. Regardless of who you are or what your artistic tastes are, I think you will find something in these pieces that brings meaning, brings introspection, and embraces you in a way that you might not have experienced in a church before. Because art, it has special life in your eyes. Icons in Transformation is on display through February 9th at St. Thomas Episcopal Church. It is open to the public with a suggested donation of $10. Students and children are free. The church is located at 1200 Snell Isle Boulevard Northeast in St. Petersburg, Florida. Check the St. Thomas website at stthomasstpete.org for dates and times.